Hello! Welcome to our cafe! The best cafe in the world! <laughs> today we're making... Um... Today we're making... Hmm... What are we making, Ben? Hello, everyone! Today we're making a wedding cake for Walter and Wendy, who live on the high street. They're getting married. It is lovely, Ben. But a wedding cake needs to look really, really special. What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it, Ben. It's just it's not very interesting, is it? Hmm, no. Hmm. There needs to be something on it. Some decoration. Oh! Oh, yes! That's because it's not finished yet. Not until I put... this on it. <laughs> what on earth is that? It's a digger. Good, isn't it? We can't have a digger on Water and Wendy's wedding cake. <laughs> no? No, it's got nothing to do with a wedding. Very pretty, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's try something else. OK, um... Oh, yeah. What about this? What do you think? It needs to be something pretty. Try something else, Ben. Pretty, pretty. Oh, yes. OK. What about this? <laughs> no, Ben. It still isn't finished, and now we've got a customer. I'll have to put the cake away. But we'll still have to think of something to put on it, because Walter and Wendy are coming to pick the cake up today. I'm on my way! Woo! <laughs> Who is it, Small? Who's our customer? She's very beautiful, Ben. Very beautiful? I can't guess from very beautiful. I need a better clue. OK, then. She's got seven friends. Seven friends? Oh, it's Snow White. Oh, Snow White in our cafe. Yes, it is, Ben. Snow White. She's very pretty. Oh, I love the story of Snow White and the seven dwarves. Me too, Ben. But there's more to that story than you think. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Far away lived a beautiful princess, Snow White, and her wicked stepmother. One day, the wicked stepmother looked into her magic mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And the mirror replied, Snow White. The wicked stepmother was so cross that she ordered her servant to take Snow White into the wood and leave her there. Snow White was a little frightened. Luckily, she saw a tiny house in the distance. When Snow White finally reached the house, she was very tired and went straight to sleep. To her surprise, when she woke up, she was surrounded by seven dwarves. They felt sorry for Snow White and asked her to stay. Meanwhile, their wicked stepmother looked into her mirror. Mirror, mirror! of them all. Again, the mirror replied, Snow White. The wicked stepmother was very angry. She disguised herself as an old lady, and when she found Snow White, she gave her a poisoned apple. Poor Snow White was now under a spell and would sleep for 100 years. When the dwarves came back, they were very upset. Luckily for them, I had an idea. I dashed off to find the handsomest prince in the land and brought him back as quickly as I could. When the prince saw Snow White, he kissed her. The kiss broke the spell, Snow White awoke, she married the prince and they lived happily ever after. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ho oh, ho! I love a story with a happy ending. Way! And it just shows you that true love always wins in the end. Ah. <laughs> Look at you, Small. And you say I'm soppy. You're the one who's soppy. Soppy, soppy, sop, sop, soppy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I meant, mmm. I was just thinking about the lovely meal that I cooked for them all. And we should be thinking about the meal we're going to cook.
Hmm. You're quite right, Small. Now, what can we cut for Snow White? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Oh, yes, here it is. Nothing but the best for Snow White. Seven dwarves' pies? What's that got to do? Oh, I see. Seven dwarves. We make seven custard pies with a dwarf on each one. All right. To remind her of her little friends. Brilliant, Ben. Come on, then, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. An apple. Apple, OK. Here we go. Got the apple, Small. An egg. In the fridge. Here we go. Egg. Got the egg. Milk. Milk in here. Milk, yep. Short crust pastry. Oh, yes, pastry. There it is. Got the pastry. And custard. Right, custard, custard. Oh, um, oh, no. Cupboard's bare. Oh, we haven't got any custard, Small. We've got everything else for the recipe. But how can we make seven dwarves' pies without custard? Don't worry, Ben. That's a job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoon. Woohoo! I'll go and get some custard. Hope you don't bring back some mustard. <laughs> up, up and away! Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, I'm so excited! This is a big factory where custard is made. Wow, look at all that sugar. This man is pouring in all the ingredients that are used to make custard. Oh, mustn't forget the milk. Do you remember where milk comes from? Milk comes from cows. Now the custard is mixed up in all these pipes. Ooh, let's see where that man's going. I think he's going to look at the custard. Oh, yes, it looks good to me. It's nice and yellow, and there's lots of it. I love custard on my apple pie. These pots are going to be filled with custard. There it is. Lovely, delicious custard. On go the lids. And now they're ready to be delivered to the shops. That was great. I can't wait to tell Ben about this. Bye. Way! I'm back. Here it is. One carton of freshly made custard. Oh, lovely. Do they have enough to spare? Oh, yes, Ben. I've never seen so much custard in all my life. <laughs> enough custard to float a boat on. <laughs> oh, a sea of custard. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I hope Snow White likes it. Ah, oh, Snow, Snow White. White. Come on, Small, we better get on. You're right. We better get on, Ben. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. 
Do you remember the ingredients to seven dwarves pies? You do? There was an apple, one, sliced, an egg, one, milk, three tablespoons, short crust pastry, one packet, and custard, one carton. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. That's done. Now I can get on with making the pies. Can you read out the recipe for me, Small? OK, Ben. First, sprinkle some flour onto a board and roll out the pastry. Okie dokie. Sprinkle the flour and roll out the pastry. Here we are. We need to make it nice and flat. I wonder if this is a magic mirror, like the one in the story. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Who? Ben? No! Surely it's me! Right. Use a knife to cut round a saucer to make a circle. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to help you with this bit. Here we go. All the way around. Great. And lift it off. Oh, careful. And I'm going to make another one just next to it. Round it goes. All the way. And this side. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to pop one of them onto a greased baking tray. Up it comes. And there. And I'm going to use our sliced apple to put in the middle. There's a few more there. Great. <laughs> now I'm going to pretend to be the prince in the story. He was very good at dancing. <laughs> Next, we mix the milk and the egg together in a bowl. In it goes. Give it a good old whisk. Mix them both up together. And I'm going to use this brush to brush the mixture around the edges of this piece of pastry. There we are. All the way around the edges. This will help the other piece of pastry stick on top. I'd love to meet a princess. I'd have to learn to dance, though. Here goes. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm not very good at this. I'll need some practice. This is the clever part. I've got a little man cutter here, and I'm going to use it to make a hole in the other piece of pastry. On it goes. A bit of a twist. And let's see. Oh, there he is. And I'm going to take this piece out. Look at that. Just like a little dwarf. Hey! I'm getting better at this! Way! Woohoo! What do you think? Are you dancing too? Carefully does it. On it goes. There. Now the trick is to put one piece of pastry right on top of the other. And I'm going to take a fork and press down just around the edges. This will help it to stick. And that side. Very good. And there we have a pie with a dwarf shaped hole in the middle. So all we need to do now is add the yummy custard. <laughs> Gorgeous. A spoonful in there. There we go. And another one. Oh. oh, no! I'm never going to meet a princess now I'm covered in custard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> OK. Take the eggy milky mixture and brush it all over the top of the pie. This will help it to go all brown and shiny when it cooks. 
I'm going to cover all the pastry. Great. And then into the oven it goes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Pop it in. For 30 minutes. Hee <laughs> I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. They're cooked and cooled now, so I'm going to pop the last one onto a plate. There. I've made seven of them to remind Snow White of her seven friends. What do you think, Small? Perfect! Snow White's going to love them! Here we go! Seven dwarves' pies coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like Snow White enjoyed her seven dwarves' pies. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My seven dwarves' pies were delicious. <laughs> to say thank you, I've left you one of my new bows. I thought it might be useful for your cake. Oh, of course, Small. Snow White knows all about wedding cakes because she got married to the prince at the end of the story. Let's see how it looks, shall we? There. Oh, water on Wendy's wedding cake looks perfect. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.